Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to today. Today's a talk video and I'm super excited because I love these videos. These are like some, at this point, vintage videos from myself. And I don't know if I'm feeling this hat with this outfit. Let's try this again. What's up guys? Welcome to today. Um, You know, I don't know if this hat's doing it. This hat on maybe? Maybe we'll throw this hat on. Oh, it's a little better. It's whatever, it's one of my go-to hats. It's getting old though because it's like i bought this at the um at a beach wear store in myrtle beach like two years ago it might have been uh wings probably wings or eagles or you know if you know but i love these videos i love to just sit down and talk and it's just it's really my therapy i made a video the other day because I, I was walking i went to the park the other day and i was really just thinking about whew, my breath I was walking in the park, I was in nature, <laughs> surrounded by nature. I was at the park and yeah, I was at the park. How many times do I have to say I was at the park? Guys, I've just been going through like this mental battle with myself and I feel like the more you go through things, I feel like the more stupid you become in a way. And let me explain because I know you're not supposed to talk down at yourself. I feel like more lately, I can't like get my thoughts clear. I can't get my words out. I slur even more and I just, I try so hard and you know when you need to say something like split second you can't and you used to be able to and you can't like it really bothers you and I think the more you go through stuff the more like dumbed down you become in a sense where you just can't help it so I'm like I'm trying to figure my life out here but anyway so I apologize if I over repeat things and over <sighs> you guys probably won't see it it's gonna be a lot of split cuts you know a lot of edits in the video where I just split everything and I'm just like you know Anyways, anywho, because there's a lot you don't see when I'm editing my videos. You don't see the twitches that I have. You don't see the the constant slurring unless I think it's a funny moment to make out of it. There's things you don't see. But anywho, it's at the park where I'm going with this therapy thing. I say, like, this is my therapy. Um, to just sit down and be vulnerable and be, you know, get to know get to know me a little bit, where I come from, like, my views. And even though they come up, they come across obnoxious sometimes. But anywho... I was at the park. <laughs> I was at the park and it's just a good place for me to just really um, reflect, think about my life, where am I going, who I'm at, you know, where, who I am, where I'm at in life, um, just in the woods, do my own thing. Um, and I made a video about this. So if I cannot get this out properly, I'll just insert the video because I was thinking, and I was like, oh my God, I need to make a video of this and say this before I forget this because it just makes such perfect sense for me because it's not a lot of people who film their lives. Um, like I film my life. I'm like an open book with a lot of my life on YouTube and what I post, what I go through, how I'm feeling, my thought process. That being said, my life, well, me filming my life for me is therapy. It's like my literal therapy because when I think about it, yeah, you go to, you could go talk to somebody. I, I know a lot of people that do. And, you know, I think about it myself. I like if I went to therapy and I thought about going a lot, um, like years past, Cause I'm like in a trance. Let me tell you, like my life for the last four or five years have been like a trance. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I've settled with. Like, I'm just like, I've settled for this life where I can't get out. I'm stuck and I can't like break free and like live my best life. I just can't. But anywho, that's another day. Um, you could go to therapy, talk about your issues. Like I wouldn't even know where to start. But then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? My whole life filming is a literal therapy session, like an, a big therapy session because I do these videos, like my little video diaries, my talk videos, where I just sit down, I, uh, I'm talking too fast, I'm just trying to get it all out, you know, you, you want to get things out before you forget, um, so I do these videos where I talk, I sit, I give you, like, my views, my life, where I'm at currently, the day I film these videos, and then I look back at filming my life, I'm probably, I'm probably going to end up inserting the video clip anyway, because just so you guys can get a better understanding, because I don't feel like I'm explaining this right, I'm not crazy, I promise. Um, guys, I can't. I look back at my old videos and I'm like, who am I? Who is that person? But here we go with that. So I talk about these videos. I make these videos, these diary videos and where I'm at in my life. And then I look back at my life and my videos. They're like records. You know, I keep like, they're like records, bookmarks, if you will. Um, at where I'm at, at that point in my life. So I uh, insert my, I, I try not to <clears throat> overthink my thought process a lot, but I use my video diaries 
I insert them throughout my vlogs and videos, not physically, but like I think about it. I look at where I was at at that point in my life, what I thought about then, how did I present myself, how was I doing life, use my video diaries now. Like, you know, I kind of plug in a lot of my my views, where I'm at, who I am into my actual living life situation vlogs. And, it's, and you kind of figure that out in that sense of who you are and like what you need to do, you know? So it's like literal therapy to me, if that makes sense, but I will insert the clip. Before I forget this, cause I'm walking and I just had a great explanation of my videos. What I do is therapy, literal therapy, because you know, when I think about it, instead of sitting down with a therapist, oh, people are coming. Instead of therapy, like sitting down with somebody, discussing like problems and or whatever, I I do my video diaries, my vlogging. I put the camera down, I sit on the floor and just talk. And then it's nice to film your life because you have records. It's like records to look back on and just to kind of see how are you presenting yourself at this time how were you how are you presenting yourself how are you acting how are you feeling because when you film it jogs it keeps the memory going because you remember what you did what you wore what you how your life was like so it's kind of like that record you see how you are how you act how you're acting how you're feeling how you're presenting yourself how you look and dress and whatever interacting with people and talking to yourself how are you handling stuff and then you use the video diaries and the the vlogs that you're talking about your feelings and inserting that with within your other vlogs to see if you're actually keeping word are you actually telling the truth are you lying to yourself without realizing it are you in denial because you're saying you're good but you're really you know you're acting a different way in this video or presenting yourself it's kind of plugging that in and dissecting the thought process in your life without going crazy but even though it drives you crazy so to me that like what i do hot filming your life filming my life is literal therapy to me so you know it's an advantage it's always been an advantage of filming my life and you know what i do does that it kind of makes sense ish i don't know for me it does but so I enjoy these videos. I look back. I look back at a couple of my talk videos, uh, like the other week, and I was like, "Oh my god, like a young little obnoxious me, talking as if I know shit or know life." But I really feel like I did. My like my life back in the day had substance. I'm like, where did it go now? Like I I I look at the last four to five years. I'm like, what the heck? Like what did I do? My life. I don't. I couldn't think of substance. I I could tell you like so many amazing memories I've had in the last like you know prior to this mental war well i look back at my last four to five years i'm like what the hell did i have what 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 have i done that's been so oh my god you know a few trips but that's about it you know like i don't know i my life had more substance back in the day like 10 years ago now it's like what and i know life's what you make it but you can't when you feel mentally stuck and there's nothing you could physically like mentally or physically do like hot girl summer's coming i need to i need to you know <laughs> just say no i'm kidding i need to be free i can't i feel like i'm better than this i am more than this i am just in this trans i don't know who i am i deserve something new and more and better and just like i need to experience life now it's time that i experience life on my own terms like you know and it's just very hard situation that i'm in mentally and then it turns physically because then you start to physically get like you feel it like sick and sore and like oh my god anyway yeah i actually had some topics i wanted to talk about because a couple of things had uh were brought to my attention towards my job at work customers you know i work so i work at a grocery store that is my one of my jobs i have two jobs one and one of them is the grocery store and it's a whole different world compared to like retail, like the mall, because I work at the mall clothing and I work at retail, like groceries and food. Completely different things, completely type, two different types of bitchy customers that you deal with. Don't get me started on the whole food is my sale, and my overpriced, inflation, whatever. Anyway, I have stuck up ass customers, like it's a little more high end, upper end, whatever you want to call it. Bitchy, snobby customers, okay? board housewives you know businessmen you know it's just like a whole thing like ugh. i've noticed three things manners 
basic manners because here's what I get I'm a very nice person like honestly I've always said this outside of my YouTube world I'm a very professional I take my work very serious I am very career driven strong minded I can deal with a lot I can put up with a lot um basic manners if I say hi how are you you say I'm great or I'm good how are you you don't just say I'm good that is like a pet peeve of mine. And I guess, I mean, maybe they don't know it. A lot of people here do not say that. They're just like, good, I'm good. Because to, to me, it means you don't want to be bothered. But you're in my store. Like, you are, you're shopping at my store. So you chose, you chose to come in here. You didn't have to come in here, but here you are. So you will speak to me when I speak to you and have a full-on conversation. Um, and then they pull you with the phone, like, you know, and then I'm like, whatever, girl. Like, and for who, who, we open at 8 a.m., who is having full-on conversation at 8 a.m. on the phone? Yeah, girl, da, da, da. like, I don't, I don't like anybody enough. Like, I cannot text. I cannot speak with you. I cannot have a full conversation at 8 o'clock in the morning, unless it's my mother, you know, but even then, I'm like, hi, how you doing? Great. Call you later. Have a good day. Click. Like, don't call me. Today. <laughs> like, I'm not having full conversations. Like... Uh, but don't get me started on the phone at the register. Ugh. If I say I'm, if I say hi, how are you? You say I'm great. I'm good. How are you? You don't just say I'm good. Or don't even get me started on the. Or thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. No, your bitch ass will say, "Oh, thank you. You too. You as well." I don't know something like common sense. Don't just say thank you or I will. Not even a. I will. Hope you do too. I will. Like, bitchy ass. Like, oh my god. Like, okay, great. You don't give a fudge about me. I'm trying to keep it clean here. <laughs> but I'm a great. Basic manners, guys. And these people don't have manners. You would think older generation would have a little bit more respect and manners. That You know what they think? They see kids, younger people, and I'm not even a kid, but they, I look young for my age. Thank you, moisturizer. Anyway, they see people younger and they probably think these kids don't care about shit. They don't like to work, da 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 True, but not me. I'm, my generation's very borderline. The last good, you know, we actually work for shit and then ver we're also like, oh my God, we're lazy. You know, anyway, so I don't know what it is, um, but I would like more manners, honestly. Another thing I've noticed, I, I don't know what it is, it's a lot more often than I feel like it should be. And I guess people, hacking is such a big thing and, you know, all this shit. And, but people locking their cards for every little thing and keeping their cards locked, I don't get it. I'm ringing people up, whatever, and um, the card's declining. Like, oh, I need to unlock my card. It happens more than not. I'm like, why are so many people locking cards, keeping their cards locked? Like, I don't get it. Like, have your shit under control. I'm like, don't get hacked. Like, make sure you, you do better. Like, I don't know. Who, who am I to talk? Watch me be hacked next. But I don't need to lock my cards. Why do you need to lock your cards? And Because then to me, I'm thinking you're up to something shady. Because you don't want people to have access to your money. You, they're trying to pull money out, funds out of your account what are you up to? Like, what are you trying to not get, lose? You know, like, I'm the things that go through my head, I can't. I'm crazy, guys. I'm really crazy. Crazier these days. I used to not be this crazy, but I am just losing it more and more. But the uh, last thing that was on my list that I've noticed a lot, and I'm just, you know, I'm very independent person. When it comes to relationships, I don't need anybody. I don't need a man. My boyfriend could break up with me tomorrow and I'm be like, okay, you, I'm just saying, I'm sorry. It's gotten to that point where I just want to be alone a lot now, mentally, like I'm, my battles for me to, you know, anyway, but you know, I don't need anybody, you know, I'm very independent. I don't need no one's money. I don't need, you know, but we live in a world we unfortunately have to depend on people for certain things and it kills me to no end. But anyway, it's another day. I'm very independent person. Don't worry about money. Like, you know, whatever. These people, these couples that come through, first of all, the PDA has got to stop. I cannot. I'm I'm, I'm against PDA. Why are you walking up in a grocery store? Mwah, kissing? Oh, my God. Uh, like, we get it. You're trying to prove something that's not there. You might as well grab a Sharpie and you know, write insecure f across your forehead. Like, what are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? Anyway, um, but the thing that gets me about it, like, they're at the register. Oh, babe, just cash at me. Oh, uh, Venmo. Oh, 
uh just put da -da -da, like bitch you don't have your own money uh, you need cash app i'm sorry like you need cash app like can we not make cash app a thing like can i, I that's one thing i never liked was cash app like i get it, it's easy to like transfer money and stuff but like for the right things i guess have your own damn money pay for your own shit like i don't like when Sorry, boyfriend. I don't like when, like, we put things together. Like, if I want to buy my own things, let me buy my own things. You buy your own thing, and you see. And then we'll see who who buys more shit that they don't need. Anyway, because he likes to buy a lot of extra stuff, I'm just saying. I will buy extra stuff, but I will pay for my extra stuff. But he likes to combine them because he just wants to get out quicker. He doesn't want to do two transactions. I want to do two transactions because then if he pays, then I got to pay owe him back. And I don't like owing people back money. I already owe him enough as it is. And then it turns into a whole hoopla. Like, my no. Like, I'm very, like, leave me alone, my money, like, let me buy what I want, like, I'm just, uh, yeah, why, like, why, I don't understand the cash app thing, I just, it, it bothers me, I don't know why, like, I could never be like, oh, cash app me, like, no, be so financially independent that you have your own money that you don't even need me, like, we're not, no, like, I'll buy my own shit, you don't, don't combine it, no, and it's like, people think because they're together, everything's gotta be together, everything's gotta be intertwined, no, no, fudge off. Like, no, unless you're married, you shouldn't be living together. Unless you're married, you shouldn't be sharing nothing. Unless you're married, you should ha not, not have your name on nothing. No co-signing, no, you know, I'm sorry, that's just how I am. But, you know, am I breaking rules left and right with that? Yes, I am. But I'd be fine without it. Let me just say that. Like, just be so independent with yourself. And that's something that will never change. I've said that through all my years and videos and stuff. And have I broken every rule with relationships that I've been in? Yes, absolutely. But... It makes you question yourself, honestly. Oh, I question myself with lots of decisions. Oh, last five years, I've been a whole hoopla. Who am I? <laughs> what am I doing? What's wrong with me? Oh, he's gonna watch this and be like, uh, no, we need to talk. No, I don't wanna talk. I don't need to talk about my feelings. I don't need to talk about my feelings, guys. I really don't because uh, it doesn't get anywhere. It really doesn't. Communication's not a thing, but uh, it's just, you know, Let's talk about a debateful conversation, shall we? People are alike. Two people are alike. It could be very easy to have a conversation, like mature conversation. If two people are complete opposite people and like nobody is willing to like back down on a view, which they shouldn't, not much to do with that. You know, I feel like opposites attract my ass when people say opposites attract. Absolutely not. Been through it enough to tell you. Nope um get it it's like with me with my feelings and my views it, it it will never be agreed upon or something that's understood or be like okay you feel like if someone were to tell me something i'd be like all right that's how you feel i respect that cool it's not on my end nope if i say something wrong it's like you know if i say something that's like kind of rough or like a view that's a little stronger than you know another person's perception or how they think life should be like oh my god anyway I don't like when people say opposites attract because, you know, I don't think opposites attract at all. It's like, no, this is not my vibe. This is not my energy. This is not what I'm about, you know. And, you know, I was watching Summer House and I relate. I related to this a lot. You know, I was watching the latest episode of Summer House. Kyle and Amanda, you know where I'm going with this. They're just two opposite people to make it work. And I feel like somebody want somebody wants another person in that relationship to change and you just can't that's just who they are and you shouldn't try to change someone or make someone think in their mind well maybe i gotta do this no no forget that don't make anybody change there's just that's just not that person not for you the person who they are can find the person that's for them the person who you are can find for you it's where the opposite it's the opposite attract Thing for me that's not working out like no opposites do not attract it's constant battles and this compromise shit can go out the window no i've learned that that's not a thing no no sacrificing no compromising you get who you get who i am and if you don't like it get the <laughs> line when you don't like it that's not my problem you talk it up with your therapist if you're that insecure that stupid that oh my gosh no sorry so I'm just very, and maybe it's because I'm just going through my own thing where I'm just like very more harsher and like strong on this, but whatever. Like I'm not in my soft girl era, whatever you want to call it. I'm in my hard ass bitched era for like five years now. Um, and I never used to be this person. I was, but I wasn't. But now I'm just like, boom, like you're not getting to me. 
I don't, not everyone is for everybody. And everybody wa wants to think that. And then people are blinded by love. And oh my God, bitch. Oh, I cannot stand it. Anyway, i get myself in trouble if I keep talking on this. Um, Not everyone's for everybody. And people don't want to hear that or understand that. They think if you love someone, you can love someone and let them go. You can love someone from afar. Been there, done that. So, like, I get it. I think if everybody just minded their business, was single, life would be a whole lot better because you don't have to worry about stress. You don't have to worry about anybody else's insecurity. You don't have to worry about anybody else's finance situation, anybody else's upbringing. <sighs> It would give people the time to actually find themselves and be like, you know, aside from the rest of life's crap. Because life is tough as it is. We don't need another human being to like, you know, add to that. Unless they're like you, you know, that's, unless they're well-minded, rounded people. Anyway, and you know, you could be how you are and that is completely fine. Does it mean that we don't have to put up with it? You know, you can be who you want, who you are somewhere else you know that and like respectfully you know like kyle and amanda they are two different people they're married so it's gonna make it hard for the divorce when they do divorce um so and they're divorced and let me tell you they're gonna divorce like Paige and craig let me tell you something i think my next relationship if i were to ever be single again like it would have to be long distance i think that's perfect because the way Paige and Craig do their relationship is absolutely perfect. And people don't agree with it because they're insecure. But we can get into that another day. But they don't, people don't want to have that conversation. But, you know, long distance absence makes the heart grow fonder. And if people are so worried about their trust and cheating, that is not my problem. That's insecurity that you need to work on yourself. But again, people don't want to have that conversation. And it is what it is. But, um... I would be perfect with a long distance relationship. I could just, like, you can you can be independent. You're still yourself. You're not waking up with anybody. You're not going to bed with anybody. You still have full control, freedom of your life to do what you want, when you want, how you want, respectfully. And, you know, be on your way. And the other person doing that whole thing on their, in their end. And they are both, like, well-minded, strong-minded people, Paige and Craig. Um, they make it work. P Paige, let me tell you, Paige is, like, independent-ass bitch who is, like, top tiered you know like she is boss like boss bitch right there craig does his own thing they both have good careers jobs like power couple and that's what people need these broke asses want to get with these well-minded people and it's like doesn't make no sense and then broke ass find broke ass no top tier needs to find top tier power couple it cannot be any lower than that and that people find that and you need the candy oh let me not i'm gonna get i'm gonna get canceled for this well it's true people don't want to acknowledge or have the conversation so much easier said than done yes i'm living that bitch got it it's easier said than done for myself, clearly, if I could be gone, I'd be gone, like, I, I would have been gone years ago to figure my shit out, but here we are. Anyway, whew, I'm crazy, this coffee is kicking in. I, the options attract my ass, like, ugh, conclusion, in conclusion, it's just not a thing. It's just, uh, it drives me crazy when people want to think everything can just work out. Let me tell you, it does not work out, because I thought... I have a forever with someone and that don't work out. We were opposite. I'm like, oh, you know, in the name of love. Nope, no bitch. In denial. I was in denial. I was in denial. In denial. I was blinded by love. My mental health was decaying behind the scenes. And though what did work in my past relationship, I will say, with us being opposite the tracks, we didn't live together until the very end of the relationship. So and maybe that's why I had more substance back then as well. Like life had more meaning for me. We were never together all the time like that. So it was perfect. But, you know, trust became an issue. Anyway, but I was always secure with myself. Like, oh, living my best life. But anyway, whew. Mm -mm -mm. this conversation, we we are rough. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going I'm to I'm cut this off here before I get canceled. Um, thanks for watching my little talk video. I got all out that I needed to get out for now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below on anything you want. I'll get back to you. That'd be that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.